When you look at the whole group, if you would say there were one, one player who has really come out of the shell and taken the role that she has within the team by the scruff of the neck, I'd say that's, that's Zoe in this series. So I first started rugby when I was five years old. My brother used to play at Tring Rugby Club and my dad coached him. So I was always at the club watching him play anyway and I thought, you know what, I'll join in. And that's how it started. So Zoe's point of difference is probably a kicking. There's not many girls that can kick the ball 50 metres. Um, Zoe's, Zoe's got fantastic ability to kick the ball long, accurate, high, along the floor. So she's able to bring this, bring this to life for Saracens, sort of increasingly so for them. She's got the best kicking game in the world. There's, there's absolutely no doubt about that, I would say. And that's quite a big statement, actually, about having the best kicking game in the world. But I think, you know, you talk about crafts and the craft that, that people have and how they take real pride in that type of thing. And you see that in Zoe's games, and that's massive for us. Don't think too hard. If you think too hard, then something will go wrong, because you're thinking, oh, something could go wrong. For any young kickers out there, I'd say find what uh, works for you. Don't just think like you'll turn up one day and you'll be really, really good. Just go down to pitch, practice, and don't get frustrated. There's always days where it will go wrong.